The band arrives in Austin to begin recording. They are exhausted from a heavy show schedule and months of writing and pre-production, but they are in good spirits, which sometimes helps when recording songs that tackle deep issues like infidelity and lost love to rebuilding relationships and the struggles of war veterans. Check one, two, check one, two, check, 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 hey, 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 hey. Somewhere along the way, the songs begin to appear. Some of the songs have taken over five years to materialize. Others arrive out of nowhere. Check one, two, hey, 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 hey. We always have what we call a primary instigator, which is the one or two that uh, come up with an idea or have a thought, um, a story, and then that song sort of gets uh, built to a point. Uh, we kind of get it to the point where you can present it to the band and say, hey, I've got an idea. And sometimes it's like a really complete song. Sometimes it's just, hey, I've got an idea. And then usually the rest of the guys come in and put their stamp on it. And, uh, and it sort of just evolves organically at that point. If you can yeah. I mean, let's get the drums up like 50%, maybe 75. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, eventually we're trying to find, okay, how do we wrap this up? And we're texting things to each other and we finally get it together. And the line comes in that you need and then there you're, you're ready to go. And then, and then we just sit down and, and play through it, play it together. Um, anybody in the band could go, that's not working, uh, we need to change this. Um, and, and the truth is, every time somebody does that, uh, or that's great, or whatever, it sharpens it, it makes it better. I'm, I'm all about breakup on this one. Like, yeah. So it, let's it, just go let's, for it. Let's, let's do it. Ballers. <laughs> uh, I was actually, I, mean, I feel it. like balls to wall, I'm ready. Okay. okay. Let's do it. Um, it's a very communal process. This project, I'm excited to see where it takes us. Every time we get in the studio, it's just a fresh new world. There's so many things we can do with this music and, and kind of reach very diverse audiences. I think we've got all kinds of you know, ideas coming from all parts of the band uh, for new songs and new song ideas and new sounds. So it's, it's kind of an ever evolving uh, process. I want people to appreciate the music on multiple levels. So, you know, we, we spent a lot of time with the lyrics and we want it to be meaningful to people, um, but we want them to have fun too. And so my vision is really just connecting with the audience and finding a new audience. And um, it's, it's just about the experience, the, you know, playing music in front of people and it's kind of a two way street. And, you feel that we're putting something into the performance and they're giving back and, and uh, you know, anytime that is happening, that's kind of my vision for Left Arm Tans. It is grueling work, but also strangely calming and rewarding. The band works from 11 a.m. to 2 a.m. every day. Yeah, 
It's not a normal ban per se. The guys are best friends and everyone has veto power if they don't like how something is turning out. But that doesn't stop them from hazing each other a bit. Darker and darker. The whiskey seems to help. Joe, quit walking back and forth. What are you doing? <laughs> no, that's good. Perfect. Yeah, man, Captain Morgan. Or you're going to put your, not on him, but on the thing, and you're going to, like, kind of kick. <laughs> your attention. <laughs> These nuts. It would be easy to say Mark. I'm going to say Mark building. Easily Mark. Because he's a millennial. And, uh, I mean, I, if you need more evidence than that, I don't you know, there's no help for you. He's the only one that legitimately gets paid to be a good musician. <laughs> Dude, we'll get you there. You'll probably still always be the worst, but you'll be like a better worst, because we'll all still be better in, in most every way. He has probably the least musical talent of everybody. Oh, uh, I, the worst band member. Uh, I'm just gonna say me. Uh, it's certainly not me. No question, I'm, I'm, I may be one of the best. I may have changed the entire world for this band when I joined. Sir, I need you to move. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sir, so maybe a tall guy. Tall guy. Yeah. Tall guy. Well, it's definitely Joe. I mean, he's just a, he's just a pain in my ass like all the time. So, um, uh, oh hey Joe, sorry man, I love you. In, in a very heterosexual way. I don't know. Uh, they all have their bad points. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow the band wills a new album into existence. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. Daniel, look at me. Oh, you're probably gonna stay dry, is what I'm guessing. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I'm on. Okay. Oh, Come on. Baby, I'm on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> See, you don't know what you're doing. You fucked it up. Damn it, Bobby. Come on. Damn it, Bobby. Get on there. We <laughs> have. Good job, Brian. No, leave the chair. Leave the chair. The chair floating is what makes it for us. Cool for swimming. Stop. Okay. Let's be happy, and then you're Excuse gonna me. smile, and then you're gonna turn back around. <laughs> okay, and then don't smile. Okay, one, two, three, go. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. One, three, one, two, three. On two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, go. Are you ready? We're a band. One, two, three, we go. We play in four, four. God damn it. Go. Let's count to four. <laughs> <laughs> We're telling tales out under the eaves at the La Mirage roadside inn, and every road in America can bring you here. The core tracking is done, and the band returns to Fort Worth to finish overdubs and mixing. It will be the band's 10th year anniversary in 2020. They will deliver an epic album to celebrate, but months of work lies ahead.